friends, Erica here today. I am coming to you with my February wrap up. So stay tuned. Look at these shelves. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the one? The one who has all the books on these shelves. Adventures are told. How many adventures can one shelf hold? Looking around, do you think? Sure, I've got all the books. Okay, so today is only like the 17th or something, but I really need to return these library books, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up everything that I've read so far this month right now. And then I will just add to it later. Alright. I'm losing my stuff here. Oh my gosh, stay. Stay, you stupid pen. Alright. So, the first book that I completed... was No Matter What You Are Loved by Becky Davies illustrated by Fernando Martin this one I ended up giving it three stars and I finished it on the first and it was only ten pages long because so. they're like the hard our pages. Then I finished Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Love, Tips from a Cool Cat and How to Spread the Love by Kimberly and James Dean. This one was 48 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the first. Then I finished Home is Where the Heart Is by Emma Dodd. <clears throat> this one was 24 pages. I gave it 5 stars and I finished it on the first. I just thought it was super, super cute. Super, super cute. I mean, super cute. Okay. Next, I completed The Love Curse of Melody McIntyre by um, Robin Talley. This one was 448 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the fourth. Okay, sorry about that. The next one that I finished I guess was a um one that I finished via the Libby app uh, ebook version. It was called Be a Maker by Katie Howes. It was 32 pages. I gave it three stars and I finished it on the fourth. Then I completed Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. This was 623 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the fifth. I'm going to wait. Really gotta finish that. Then I finished. Well, actually, I DNF'd. I DNF'd this one 101 pages in. It's called The Familiar, Volume 1 and One Rainy Day in May by Mark Z. Danielewski. I may try and pick it up again I don't know 
Um, I just don't like... Like, I like the format, I just don't like the fact that it's just a bunch of gibberish. Like, you don't really know what's going on. So... Yeah. So, I didn't rate this one just because I DNF'd it, so uh, I, I only rate ones that I actually finish. Then I finished The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. This one was 283 pages. I gave it three stars and I finished it on the 9th. Oh, I had DNF'd for the Familiar Volume 1 on the 7th. So, next on the 10th, I finished Locked Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This was a reread for me. It had been quite some time since I had read it the first time. I also just don't remember when. But it was 368 pages and I ended up giving it three stars. One of my least favorite of his. Okay, so next I finished Yuzumaki by Junji Ito. Absolutely love this book. Um, I, it was a reread for me, but I finally own my own copy. Finally. It's just Junji Ito's books are so expensive. This was $35, you guys. It's just so expensive. But it's totally worth it. I absolutely loved rereading it. It was great. So, five stars. I finished it on the 11th and it was 683 pages. Then I finished Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas um, manga by uh, June uh, Asuka. This one was 164 pages, and of course I gave it five stars, and I finished it on the 11th. Next, I finished my reread of A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I bud I'm buddy reading this series with Melissa over at Melissa and her books, who I don't think that she is going to return to. YouTube, booktube. Um, so, this was... Oh, where am I? 416 pages. Of course, I gave it five stars. And I finished it on the 11th. Then I finished, let me see if I can find it. There it is. I finished Lumberjanes Volume 8, uh, Stone Cold by um, Shannon Waters. This one was 111 pages. I gave it five stars and I finished it on the 12th. Then I finished, where is it? All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It was 376 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 14th. I'm really getting frustrated here. I'm okay. <laughs> I finished also on the the fourteenth. I finished a Charlie Brown uh, Valentine by um, Charles M. Schultz. 
This one was 23 pages. I gave it four stars. Then I finished A Creed and Stone Creek by uh, Linda Lell Miller, which was the first book in this, uh, this duo thing here. Um, I never got around to fin I haven't gotten around to finishing the second one, but my main goal was to finish the first one. So, so let's see, it was 373 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 15th. Then I finished Lumberjanes Volume 9 on a roll by Shannon Waters. This one was 110 pages. I gave it 5 stars and I finished it on the 15th. Then I finished Volume 10, Parents Day. I gave it 5 stars. It was 110 pages and I finished it on the 15th. Then I finished volume 11, uh, The Time, uh, Time After Crime. This one was 111 pages and I gave it 5 stars and I finished it on the 15th. Then I completed Awkward by Svetlana Ch Ch Chimo Ch 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 Chimakova, maybe? I, like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce the CH or not. But, anyway. This one was 210 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 16th. Then I completed Lumberjanes Volume 12. Jackalope Springs Eternal. This was 110 pages. I gave it five stars and I finished it on the 16th. Then I finished um, Polly Buster, The Wayward Witch and the Fillings Monster by Sally Ribbon. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was super cute. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. It was 281 pages and I finished it on the 16th. Today, I finished The Court of... No. No. Yesterday. On the 7th. What is today? Is today the 18th? Yeah, I think so. So, yesterday, on the 17th, I finished The Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. It was 624 pages. I gave it five stars. So, and I left that one out there. So, I'll just show it to you again later. So yeah, that's uh, part of my wrap up and I will update you guys later. Okay, people. So it is the 20th and see the one I know I said that I finished A Court of Mist and Fury, but I didn't show it to you. So here it is. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. It was 624 pages, and I gave it five stars, and I finished it on the 17th. Then I finished A Spy Family, Volume 4, by Tatsu, Tatsuya Endo. This was 181 pages. I gave it five stars, and I finished it on the 18th. Then I finished This Beast. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This was 780 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 19th. Then I finished Pretend You're Mine by Lucy Score. This looks so good. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to pick up the next one, honestly. Um, this was 452 pages. I gave it five stars. Obviously, there is a really insanely long book review on my Goodreads if you want to go check that out. And I finished it on the 19th. Then I finished Isle, The Isle of the Lost by Melissa Dela Cruz. This was actually a reread. Um, I had read it 
the first time probably a few years ago and I just never got around to finishing the series. I do have books two and three as well so I will be continuing the series. I ended up giving this four stars and it was 311 pages and I finished it on the 19th. Okay, so um, it's been a while since I've updated, um, but I did finish five more books this month. Um, I finished Damaged by Only Days, which is back there in the bedroom it was 115 pages i gave it five stars and i finished it on the 22nd uh then i found finished the t the chalice of the gods by regret warden which is the sixth book in the percy jackson series um i can't find my copy anywhere and i know i own it because i recently bought it but I can't find it. But it's here. In this mess. Somewhere. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Anyway. Um, so it was 268 pages. I gave it 5 stars. And I finished it on the 25th. Then I finished Keep Calm and Cut Him Off by Bruce Bryans. This one was... 60... Three pages. I didn't rate it because it was nonfiction, and I finished it on the twenty fifth. Then I finished *A Court of Wings and Ruin* by Sarah J. Mass, which I am buddy reading this with my friend Melissa. I'm not sure where she is. I haven't heard from her in a few days, so for all I know, she probably already finished it too. So, um. But yeah, it's a reread, so I just really wanted to reread it. And this one was 700 and, no, 699 pages. Yeah, 699 pages. I gave it five stars and I finished it on the 25th. Then I finished My Brother's um, Husband, Volume 1 by... Get get uh, Genjiro or Genjiro probably Genjiro, Tagami. Uh, this was a reread for me. I read this for the first time a couple of years back, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I found this. I actually found this at Books Again yesterday. So it's very exciting. So anyway. It was 353 pages. I gave it, of course, I gave it five stars. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I've read so far this month, and I will update you again when I finish something else. Later. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video. I only read one more book, and that was Return to the Isle of the Lost by, um, Melissa Dela Cruz. This one was 309 pages. I gave it four stars and I finished it on the 27th. I just haven't really been in the mood to read the last couple of days. But, um, so total wise, I read 34 books and 9,281 pages. So, yeah. I think this month, you know, the month of February was a success. It's actually March 1st when I'm filming, filming this and going to be posting it, but yeah, so, ciao, ciao. Alright, I forgot about to get all the crusties off my mouth. I get crusties on my mouth when I first wake up in the morning and I guess because of the fact that I'm a mouth breather and I have sleep apnea and all that wonderful jazz. So, yeah, I just keep forgetting to wash my, my mouth before I film. 
anyway so yeah that's that's really all that i have for you if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up if you're not already subscribed please click that subscribe button and then click that bell notification down below to be notified when i post all of my links are down below and i will see you guys in the next one later I've got romance and nonfiction, a many. I've got horror and dystopia and galore. You want fantasy? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more.